Welcome to this video on what makes futures unique. The theoretical definition of a futures contract is that it is an obligation to buy or sell a specific asset at a predetermined price at a specific future point in time. While this may sound highly theoretical and may actually not matter all that much on a daily basis for a futures trader, you still need to understand what this means and why the futures markets came to be. Take a step back from finance for a moment and imagine the life of a farmer. You know that you will have a large crop of wheat after harvest in six months. But with the price of wheat moving up and down by the day, it's difficult to find economic stability. Running a farm is after all, a business. You may see that the price of wheat at the moment is high, but you don't know what it will be in six months when your harvest is complete. Enter futures contracts. Now you can sell your future harvest right away, at an agreed price and delivery. The other side of that coin would be a buyer of the commodity, also seeking to reduce risks and uncertainties. Kellogg's buys a large amount of wheat, and they may want to lock in prices in advance, and the futures market is where they can do that. While these producers and their customers were the original purpose and use for futures markets, they now make up a very small percentage of market participants. Practically anyone can take part in these markets to buy and sell futures contracts. Even if they have no intention of ever dealing with the actual underlying commodity. The market participants not intending to make or take actual delivery, who trade merely for economic gains, are called speculators. Throughout this course, we will assume that this is the label that applies to you. The continued participation of the actual producers and consumers of the underlying assets, such as wheat remains vital. Their participation and the possibility of making or taking delivery ensures that the price remains efficient and is not simply subject to gambling. What started out as a convenience for farmers and their customers has now grown into an enormous global asset class where it is estimated that over 90% of participants are speculators. From simple beginnings of a few commodity-based contracts, you can now trade almost any type of underlying asset through futures contracts. The original agricultural commodities can still be traded, but we can now also trade everything from gold, oil and natural gas, to equity index futures, currency futures, bond futures, and even more esoteric assets such as emissions, bitcoin, and water. What makes futures so unique and so useful for traders, is that all of these assets can now be traded in the same manner. From the point of a speculator, they can be analyzed, traded and managed the same way without requiring any deeper knowledge or experience in the actual underlying markets. This is a concept which we will return to again in detail throughout this course. It is the one property which will enable us to construct such diversified trading strategies, spreading our bets on a highly heterogeneous set of markets and increase our risk-adjusted return profile.